Hey, survivors, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today, I want to talk about what the narcissist really wants from child custody battle. What are they really trying to accomplish? You know, these individuals are cheaters. They um, are nomads. They move around a lot. Drug addicts. They do abuse drugs and they have a lot of drug issues and um, they're abusers. They're really abusers and toxic people. So like, why? Why are they going for the children? Like, you know, it it could be anything else, you know, amicable. amicable. You want to leave the situation on good terms, but things just don't turn out that way. They really go for the children and um, they start to lie and play a lot of games and do just very, just very evil things. So let's talk about it. And also, guys, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll be making more family court videos and child custody to help people out. And um, let's just continue to grow, guys, and spread the awareness. I know a lot of people need a lot of information like this, um, need to understand this, who are, you know, still married to these type of individuals, still going through right now. So, yeah, let's continue to spread the awareness, guys. And um, so... It seems to a lot of people that narcissists, they really love children. Everybody sees them with your children um, all the time just because, they're, you know, your children are out with the narcissist. So, actually, we try to digest, like, why do they want our children? I mean, um, we have to look into narcissism, basically. They are very, very selfish. Narcissists are very, very selfish and you know the first thing that really comes to mind is obvious is you know child support they are um they believe in 50 50 that's just how their minds think they think about um bargains and ways to get out of things they have a um, very backwards backwards way of thinking they um so they you know they constantly think about child support they um fight for 50 50 because a lot of narcissists think that 50-50 50-50 automatically means no child support or, you know, everything's split in half. And if the child's with them 50% of the time, then they shouldn't have to pay, you know, child support. And um, it's kind of like a, and that's when you kind of realize that they are not as smart as they think they are. Because when you really think about it, a lot of people can debate about child support all day. And when you really think about it, since there is a public school system, and the school system normally operates in most states out of um, five days a week. So that's 20 days out the month as a, you know, as for the most part, excluding the weekends. So the child would, you know, obviously go to school every morning from one household. And um, narcissists are so selfish that, I, I mean, they'll even think that, the kid needs to go with mom on Monday, dad on Tuesday, mom on Wednesday, dad on Thursday, and mom on Friday because they have the mindset of toddlers. They wouldn't mind bouncing the kid back and forth like a, you know, like a tennis ball just because they are so selfish. They're thinking about money. They're not really thinking about that is a lot on a kid to just go back and forth, even every weekend <laughs> to go back and forth between two households. Because what if the kid gets in trouble at mom's household there at Monday through Friday and they're going with dad for the weekend? He don't want to punish them. He don't feel like they need to be punished. So it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot on kids, um, you know, parenting with narcissists. But so they, they have their own way of calculating stuff in their minds um, because they're so selfish and they're looking at it from like a childish point of view. They're not thinking, well, the kid is eating, you know, obviously it's over there with the mom more. So they're eating every day, um, lunch money and breakfast and dinner every day because there are more times over there with mom. But no, for them, it's just like mom can feed them on Monday with her money and I can feed them on Tuesday with my money and I shouldn't have to pay no child support. It should be zero child support just because they're so selfish. That's how they look at kids as tools you know they don't look at them as as human beings you know so um even the narcissist in my situation guys told me he doesn't owe me anything and I know a lot of people may say yeah he doesn't you know owe you anything 
some people might look at it like I see what he's saying. He doesn't owe you anything because he, you know, is taking care of the kid, though. He doesn't actually owe you anything. But when you think about it, if you want to be technical about it, you are going through the court process. So the child support money can't go to the child. It will go to the parent. It's not, you know, they're not able to go to the kids because they're they're not of the legal age. So it would have to go to me. So technically he does owe me something, but what he meant was he doesn't owe me anything was actually, you know, cause narcissists have a high sense of entitlement. They are um, unreasonable. They have these, um, they have these unrealistic expectations and they want to be favorites. So he just looked at it. Like he feels like he doesn't owe me anything. That's what he was saying that, I'm doing what I got to do. I'm involved. So that's enough. I shouldn't have to pay you child support. Like I don't owe you anything. And there's a lot of people that don't believe in the child support system, but you know, opinions are welcome here. And you know, some people just don't believe in it. They believe that, you know, both parents should work and just do their part and it shouldn't be a child support system at all. So it's a lot of different ways to, um, to analyze this situation. But I just, you know, again, want to say that narcissists, are very very selfish that's the way they look at it even though laws are in place to take care of these type of issues they still are justifying it in their own minds of how they feel about it so they fight for 50 50 um you know joint custody and there's another way to call it um they really don't want to pay the other party anything a narcissistic parent and um it's just that they are so selfish they feel like they should be entitled to do whatever they want to do with their money, to do whatever they want to do for the child when they want to do for the child. They would narcissists would be the perfect type of people if you were the type of person that left all doors open. Meaning, if y'all didn't work out, but the narcissist would come over your house and eat and you know be you know intimate with you and see their kids whenever they wanted to, they would love a situation like that and not pay child support. But just the fact that we went to the legal system for for help, you know, um, they are very angry and upset with us for doing that. And they feel, again, like they deserve very special treatment. Um, They shouldn't have to pay child support because they feel like they are a good parent. That's what they put into their heads. And that's that false self speaking out. That's the parent that they are pretty much pretending to be but they're not behind closed doors and the the reality of that is they just have um you know they just have come to their own conclusion about um payments alimony child support health insurance you know activities for your kids they want things to work on their own terms the way they feel about it not like the way the legal system divides it up even though it is um you know, it it can be fair in some instances. I'm not going to say for everybody because I know some people have probably pay way too much in child support. But in, in, in a lot of instances also, it can be pretty fair. They um, It's a percentage. It's based off of a percentage and it's calculated. Um, but narcissists are um, control freaks. They love power. Um, they always been craving power and control over their um over their targets over their victims so they want full custody because they feel like it's a lot of power involved in having full custody and having the rights to kids it's a lot of power they want the power from that they always crave um power for them and you know they are abusive abusive bullies that's what they really are but they just want all the power and control so um they definitely would enjoy winning sole custody. They would enjoy that, the idea of winning. And if they agree to anything, it's got to be on their terms. You know, they're so um, so selfish and balanced with the way that they think. So um, they really don't want to, again, they really don't want to negotiate or, you know, on anything. They want 100% of control. So that's why they really fighting so hard in the court system. That's why they're lying on your family members. Um, you know, making up false allegations against you, trying to say that you're crazy and they really want to punish, punish the ex, you know, they want to punish us really. Um, you know, 
look at they look how hard they fight like they fighting and they they are cheating with the way they're fighting they're lying um false allegations and you're just going in there to try to get things worked out figured out and telling the truth but they are actually fighting so aggressively you know taking advantage of or trying to take advantage of everything that they can exploiting um us you know look at um the um tactics and um the dirty tactics that they use i mean you don't have to falsely accuse somebody of, of, of sexual abuse in you know in in some in our family you know you don't have to do that you don't have to make these false allegations but they do them because i i mean it's just the fact that they can and they know it's going to get thrown out of out of court it's not going to stop them from being able to parent the courts seem you know so quick to forgive them for their dirty little tactics and their games and the whole time they're doing all of this stuff to you, trying to make you miserable, fighting you so aggressively, lying on you and your family members, lying on your parenting, trying to make you seem crazy. The whole time they're doing all this, one of the most interesting things about it is that they're hiding everything that they're doing. I mean, they're still doing drugs, even though they went to a drug class. They are still doing drugs and they're doing them around your kid. Um, they're not keeping a job unemployment not telling you unemployed not telling you the information that it clearly states you two are supposed to communicate you're supposed to let each other know that's because it's that sense of entitlement the narcissist feels like they can know everything about you but you're not supposed to know anything about them because they want to hide everything they don't want you to attack them they are really good at this um you know at, at battling people if that's what you want to call it they are really good because they have some good tactics on how to you know really like do this war war thing this custody battle thing they are really good at not you don't know really anything about them and they break the court orders and you know but you really can't prove it and it's just you know it's so crazy they know how to hide all of the stuff that they're doing for you moving from one household to the next doing drugs you know just just it's just so difficult to parent with them and then you got some people that think both parents should be involved no matter what because they're both parents i don't know where that um you know mindset came from because well well it may be because a lot of people don't understand what a um abuser is about uh, a lot of people based their experiences or their opinions on things that they've been through just like us but if somebody never you know being around abuser or understand the things that they're doing they automatically think they still deserve rights to their children when in fact they are really tormenting their kids too emotionally abusing them physically abusing them they're not good parents so it makes you wonder if the narcissists weren't involved in the children's lives in our children's lives how would our children's you know how would things change for us and our children i pretty much think i definitely think that there would be a high chance that our children would um be a little different they wouldn't need you know so much help you know from mental health community as far as therapy and things of that nature i think they would be more healthier and um i honestly think because the narcissists are so toxic you know they're toxic individuals and they are um very abusive even to the kids you can tell but unfortunately the court systems they only see that the narcissist is a parent and they look at it like yeah they may need a little help but we're not going to stop this parent from being a parent because that's just bad it's a bad thing to do you know when in reality of the situation is i'm gonna bring you back to reality again they are abusing the kids even if it's not physically abuse they are emotionally bullying their kids abusing them torturing them you know ruining your kids self-esteem and it's just awful they are um awful awful parents these kids would spend years and years and years and years trying to heal from the abuse and trying to make sense of what they went through so parenting feeds the narcissist ego you know they um they get attention from everybody everybody you know sees your kid with them all the time sees your kid with them at the movies or the grocery store and they get attention and admiration they get other sources of supply they get you know the male narcissist that has your kid is you know going around town and they get women you know as you know new romantic partners because they think that this is a good guy or a good person when they don't really know 
the situation of you know their their child that they have they don't really know the situation with the child's mother and um they get a lot of attention they get a lot of admiration from people for um being a parent that's how they you know that's how they meet new people and you know just um with parenting so and they also can meet you know just a lot of people a lot of um flying monkeys and associates romantic partners just being in public with your kids so that's a big thing for narcissists they love being around people anyway so this is how they you know get to use a lot of people um through having your kids around and in custody their only goal is to to fight you not to work with you and be on the same page see it would be much easier if you could actually co-parent if you could actually be on the same page make um good mature health decisions and education decisions like many of these court orders say but um that's not the narcissist's intentions their intentions is to work against you and do some very very um very evil things i'll talk about that in a minute but if they if they even won custody just think about if the narcissist won sole custody and you were never able to see your kid again this is what they fantasize about you never ever seeing your kid again them having all the power all the control make all the decisions they would have um more sources of supply um and they would have their new sources of supply raise your kid the way they want to um they would be gloating and gossip they'd probably even make themselves a small legend in town for being the person that won you know custody of their child they'll be admired by a lot of people and they know this but eventually you know they'll get bored and um you know with the kids and and they'll end up putting them off on other people family members um new romantic partners they wouldn't give them that time and that attention and really truly raise them like we can like healthy people can just give them that love and that affection and um the kids get mistreated you know narcissists are abusive it's it's just so much that they can do to kids like i said if they're not abusing them physically or sexually you know they can play a lot of games with them to ruin their self-esteem not giving them much attention um putting them off on other people um not giving them their medications not taking them to doctor's appointments like they're supposed to checkups exam eyeglasses um dental exams you know physicals every year i mean you know kids are a lot of responsibility you know and um taking them out to activities and you know sports events um making sure they do their homework i mean narcissists are lazy (laughs) and parenting for them is when they feel like they want to do something now they would probably do kids homework just to get admiration from the teacher or just to get the teacher to look at them differently so they may do that homework thing or help them with their homework sometimes but the reality of it is is that they do what they want to or you know how they feel like it would work for them it's got to be something they always do things for a purpose for a reason and a lot of them like to look good um they like to make themselves look good in front of other people that's 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 just how they are you know um they probably end up feeding your your kid a pb and j sandwich every night you know rotting out their teeth instead of fixing them a home cooked meal and i know that's not saying that oh you know you're not bad parent just because you're doing that but i'm just saying i mean they do so many awful things you know they'll even um they're so twisted they'll even do things that like they'll reward your kid for doing bad in school that's how twisted and sick they are they may have had a um you know your kid may be having behavior issues they may be bullying kids in school because they see the narcissist bullying and doing things so they may be taking that behavior to the school um system maybe bullying kids in school and your the narcissist will um reward (laughs) your kid for doing bad things in school or fighting with other kids and you know things of that nature and then when they're doing good they may punish them for doing good they may say you know what just just go to your room for the day you know you just i need you to figure out what you're going to do with your life i need you to figure it out they may be telling a eight or nine year old this go to your room for the day and the kid thinking they've been good you know they got good grades on their test and the narcissist is punishing them for something that they didn't even do i mean they are really sick they don't these people really don't need um to be parenting anybody they need a lot a lot of help 
a lot of help. And even with help, I don't even know if it would still be good, a good idea for them to have access to young children that are innocent and de- developing their lives, developing who they are, um, you know, as far as their personality goes and their behavior. I don't know if they will ever be healthy enough to be around children. And that's what I hope the court system really sees one day if we keep on pushing this out here. And maybe, you know, I don't know. I'm I'm just hopeless. Maybe some judges or attorneys will start listening to videos like this. There's so much wealth of information out here. Maybe they will. Or, you know, I don't know, guys. I'm just, you know, only thing I can do is have hope about things like this. But the narcissists, you know, they lie and they fight you for a long, long, long time. They never give up. Uh, they, they really are parasitic. They're trying to destroy your life. They're trying to destroy everything you built and they are jealous of you. You left the relationship and if you are doing better, you know, when you left them, oh, they are really trying to destroy you. Really um, twisting everything that you do, finding um, little things to say about your parenting, to criticize you. They may say you, you may have got, you know, a, a, a decent paying job and a narcissist is so sick and twisted. They may say you don't spend enough time with the kids. Or they may say, you don't show your kids enough affection. I mean, it's just ridiculous the things that they say. They always are seeking for something. So when it comes to parenting, you have to just be, um, it seems like since we're in this big, um, you know, social media age and a lot of photography and everything is popular, it seems like you have to really show yourself as being a, um, a outgoing person. Like, you know, and it, and it's sad, but it seems like, a lot of judges will be quickly to think that, you know, you're um, not affectionate from your for your kid or you're alienated or you're trying to alienate the other parent. And that's just so hard to prove. But narcissists will um, they're sadistic. You know, they, they take um, pleasure in lying and getting people to believe their lies. They are some of the most confident liars ever. And people just don't want to, you know not believe them because it sounds it sounds so good and it sounds like it's true you know um so narcissists set you up over and over again in the co-parenting process they set you up they're like like a lot of people said they have the mindsets of a murderers you know they set you up they plot on you and they seek to destroy you that's something that a murderer does except for the ending is a little different it's a little little bit more violent but um you react you know like i said pain your pain your anger and your fear you're going to react to the things that they're doing because it hurts you know it's painful the the lies that they tell you know um we know who the real narcissist is the real narcissist is a liar a manipulator a cheater a beater a drug abuser and a con artist that's who the real narcissist is the court see but the court see a parent they just see a parent and the courts, the judges are, you know, in the court system, they are trained that this parent needs, deserves access to the children, no matter what they did, no matter what they do, that they still deserve access to the kids. And when I looked at the constitutional law, guys, I was just sickening how, I was sick and how limited it was just saying that you can have um, access to the kids unless you're, you know, weren't convicted of, of, you know, murder of the children's parent and, or, um, yeah, the murder of the children's parents. So that would be us. So you can have custody basically, unless you were convicted of that and it's got to be proven that you were convicted of it, then you can't have any custody of your kid. If you did something like that or sexually abuse your kid with proof and it's got to be proven that you did that so in a lot of cases i'm hearing about is that things happen where narcissists are touching their kids or just really um really sick things and you don't have enough proof because the courts just don't they just um they have so many cases and it just seems like they are making bad decisions because of narcissists how um you know charming and charismatic they are and how they um they basically are a, a a false person so they can't see in court that this person would do something like this the judges just don't believe it to be true and um 
we we really have to protect our kids. I mean, people that are going through serious cases like that, it's awful. And some people say, well, shouldn't it be black and white? Like either you have evidence of the abuse or you don't. It's not that simple. Maybe it wasn't taken far enough where it can show, um, you know, that type of evidence. But the kids are even telling judges things and they just feel like the other parent is trying to, which would be us in a situation, is trying to destroy the narcissist and they take what they want to take in court. They have um, way too much power. So um, the only thing that I'm hearing and I know that a lot of us want is to protect our children. That's all we want is to protect them. And really much on our terms because we've seen how dangerous the narcissist is. And we want to protect them. But it's just a lack of evidence that, that hurts us in a lot of cases. Because in the narcissist, again, they are so charming and confident in their lies. And unfortunately, the court system runs off of a lot of lies. A lot of lies and false allegations. They'll call it um circumstantial evidence just because of, it's a lie. And it sounds good to be true. It's just really interesting. Um narcissists are are big at charming people they are a lot of them are not all of them but I say a lot of them are extroverted and just the caribs they are so charismatic and the court systems have this much power they have this much power as to accept what they want to what they believe to be true or to not be true just one person one person can change a child's life forever the powers in this one person in a a lot of states you know and in a lot of cases this one person is biased but it's covered up by um educational degrees and a high status a high power position biases is covered by that by how many degrees someone got someone has and a high, high power position you know it's just ridiculous. You know, I wish um, for me, for me, I know everybody's not going to agree with this, but I wish they did have some juries because I'm pretty sure not all of those people are going to be, you know, are going to believe the narcissist in the, in the case. They can just look at everything as a whole, you know, and, and it is a lot of narcissists out here. Some of the narcissists are in the um, court system. You guys, some of these judges are narcissists and a lot of, um, individuals are saying in the court system that us as parents we're just too emotional because we didn't win or get what we want out the case we're just too emotional so they're not biased they're you know they're the law um you know they're they're rulers of the law they're not biased that it's not possible for them to be biased because they see cases every day and they have experience well that's not true they could have um they could be narcissists themselves and made it this far up on the scale and they could still make bad decisions they do it every day i hear cases every day um you know online somewhere about the, a decision a judge made with evidence and just throwing all the evidence out they throw what they want to out and they take what they want to take it's just ridiculous but the narcissist guys you know um once again the narcissists are fighting for custody because they don't really care about children they don't have the ability to love anybody romantic partners family members they argue with their family members they hurt their family members too they um lie to them they lie on their partners they beat on their partners on their friends they mistreat everybody they are that toxic so we know that they definitely mistreat children too and they don't have the capability to love children guys either so they're fighting for um because they're selfish and because they want to win. They want to um they want to win. They want to beat you. They're competitive and um it's just a sick reason that they're fighting. And um they want to further abuse you, abuse the people that got away because they know that you you got away. They're they're angry. And if you're definitely if you're doing better, while you're gone, they want to still punish you because they're insecure and they're jealous of you guys. So I want everybody to stay strong, no matter how hard this parenting thing is. These are some great support groups out here. Y'all got tools that I didn't have when my child custody case started. Y'all have things out here, you know, that I didn't have when I started off. And it's just amazing. So, guys, keep um keep your heads up, guys. Stay in prayer. 
And, um, you know, stay positive, guys. And, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And I will talk to you guys later.